One of the greatest challenges that you'll face in life is the necessity to reinvent yourself from time to time. You see, in history, even thinking back, maybe your father, your mother, your grandfather, grandmother, most people back then, they would have one career for many, many years. They worked for one company for 10, 20, 30 years, even until the day that they retire. But now with technology, with everything that's going on, things are happening so fast. Things are changing at a pace that we've never seen in human history. So what it means is it could be an industry that you're working in that it's not even just the company you're working for, but the industry could be gone in a matter of years. The company that you're working for, they could be gone. It doesn't matter how big they are, it doesn't matter they're like multi-billion dollar company, Fortune 500 companies. Within days, sometimes within weeks and years, suddenly they could just go bankrupt and disappear. And it has nothing to do with you. Now I remember in my career that I had to reinvent myself multiple times in my life and in my journey. People most of the time, they resist change. Human being, we don't like to change. We are creatures of habits. We kind of like to be complacent and doing the same thing again and again. And anything that requires change for human beings is always difficult. Right? Just like you're sitting in a spot, you're comfortable, you're like, ah, oh, you know what, I don't, I don't want to move. This is nice. Until you get a little uncomfortable, then you kind of shift and you want to make some changes and you want to change. I remember when I was just getting started, my first identity was I was basically a wannabe entrepreneur. Not a real entrepreneur, a fucking wannabe entrepreneur. I thought I was an entrepreneur. I was trying different things and I was starting all these businesses. None of them worked. I was losing a lot of money. Then I reinvent myself to be a copywriter, right? I developed that skill. I developed that high income skill as, the, as a young guy, 20 someone years old. And then I developed my next skill, which is being a consultant for all the clients I was writing sales copy for. And I was making very good money. As a young guy, 20 somewhat years old, I was bringing in you know, two, $300,000 a year. That's, that's very, very good money. And most people would stay at that pace, stay in that same spot for a long time, but I didn't. I knew that in order to go to the next level, I had to reinvent myself. And what does it mean to even reinvent yourself? I'll tell you exactly what it means. It means that you have to let go of what what has gotten you up to this point and let go and go to that next level. That is a difficult part. It's one thing to let go of things that didn't work for you, but it's a whole other thing to let go of things that worked for you. So what got you here won't get you there. So I was making good money. I had all these clients and one day I made the decision. I didn't want to do that anymore. I had to transition from being just a copywriter or a, a marketing consultant to being an internet entrepreneur. I needed to make a shift in my identity. And I call all my clients one day and I fire all my clients overnight without knowing what the next step is gonna look like. But I knew deep down that I knew that's the right thing to do. How many of you ever had an opportunity that you, it, it requires you to take some form of action to take that leap of faith, but deep down you know that it's scary as fuck, but it's the right thing to do. And I did that. And I filed my clients and I started and pursued my full-time career as an internet entrepreneur. As that was working, I had to reinvent myself again as a speaker. Even before, I didn't think I am a speaker. I am a, I'm a trainer, right? I'm a teacher. But because my internet businesses were taking off, a lot of people were coming to me and asking, hey, Dan, how do you do this? How do you do this internet online thing? How do you make money online? How do you grow a business online? And I was sharing them with, like, he's just what I do. And they thought, wow, this is amazing. Can you teach us? And then from there, it grew from a few people to a dozen people, then hundreds of people coming to my workshops, coming to my training. And now suddenly, I, again, I have a new identity. I had to reinvent myself. And again, I reinvent myself multiple times in my life. And every single time, it's when I hit the peak 
kind of the peak of that career, I had to let go and I had to reinvent. And that's the most difficult thing to do. And that's the most difficult thing for you to do. And that's why most people cannot do it. To let go of what works, what is working for you, what got you to where you are today, and to reinvent yourself, to adapt a new identity, a new belief, develop new skill sets in order to go to that next level. What got you to six figure won't get you to seven figure. What got you to seven figure won't get you to eight figure. What got to eight figure won't get you to nine figure. Can you let go of that? And remember in life, in order for you to go to that next level, the old you sometimes must die so that the new you to be reborn.